if you walk through Target or gift shops or are on social media at all, you've likely seen mugs and signs that say, you are enough. And I get the meaning behind those things. I get that if you are feeling like somehow you're not valuable, like you don't matter, like you have to do something more in order to be loved, then that reminder that you're enough as you are, that you do matter as you are, that you are valuable as you are, that you shouldn't have to do more in order to be loved, I can understand why that resonates with people. But as believers, we need to understand that that is the antithesis of scripture, which tells us clearly that we are not enough. It does tell us that we matter. It does tell us that we are valuable. It does tell us that we don't need to do more in order to be loved by God. But it also makes it clear that we are not enough, but that Jesus is enough. You know, the Bible tells us that we're not enough to save ourselves. It says, it's by grace you've been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's the gift of God. We're, faith, we're saved by faith in Jesus, not in anything that we could do on our own. We're not enough to face life's hardships on our own. That's by the strength of the Holy Spirit, which was why the Apostle Paul could write, you know, I'm going to boast in my weakness because when I'm weak, that's when the power of God works in me. When I'm weak, then I'm strong. We're not enough to go through those hard times in our own strength. And then we're not enough to do life by ourselves. And that is why scripture is clear that we are made for community. As it says in Ecclesiastes that two are better than one, that a cord of three strands can't easily be broken. It's why Paul tells us in Galatians to bear one another's burdens because we're not made to be enough to carry our own burdens, to go through life alone. And I think that Paul was kind of com combating this theory that you are enough when he was writing to the believers at Corinth. And he's reminding them of who they were by human standards. He says, for consider your calling, brethren. In other words, think about that time when Jesus called you, when you came to Christ. There were not many wise according to the flesh or according to human standards. Not many mighty, not many noble. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to to shame the things which are strong and the base things of the world and the despised God has chosen the things that are not so that he may nullify the things that are so that no man may boast before God but by his doing you are in Christ Jesus who became to us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption so that just as it is written let him who boasts boast in the Lord we are not enough now that doesn't mean you have to go and destroy your mugs and tear down your posters but you do need to keep in mind that the only reason that we are enough is because Jesus is enough and in him we are sufficient in him we have the ability to have salvation in him we have the ability to and the strength to go through life's difficult circumstances in him we are part of a fellowship that carries one another's burdens. We are not enough, but Jesus is. Rest in that truth today.